How you doing, everybody? Today, we're going to take a quick look at Rampage, directed by Brad Payton, based on the video game of the same name, and starring Dwayne Johnson and Naomi Harris. The story for this movie deals with an evil corporation running a secret experiment in space. The evil experiment goes horribly wrong, as evil experiments often do, and it results in several animals getting turned into big-ass rage monsters, including a wolf, an alligator, and an albino gorilla named George. And it's up to The Rock and Naomi Harris to stop the big-ass rage monsters and the evil corporation from destroying the city. So I wasn't really expecting much from an adaptation of a mid-1980s arcade game, and I can safely say this movie met my expectations. It is big, and it is dumb. But what else would you expect from the director of San Andreas? Which is apparently getting a sequel because the original made almost half a billion dollars worldwide. And I'm not even going to try to explain that one. But anyway, if you are going to see this movie, I think it would help to know exactly what you're in for, and I will tell you the exact moment when I realized what I was in for. This evil corporation is headed by a brother and sister team, and the sister is telling the brother about how she's bringing in some badass mercenary to do some cleanup work on their horrible experiment gone wrong. Uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't work. But anyway, when she's describing this guy to her brother, she says, you know that mercenary group that you once referred to as Killers Are Us? He's the us. That line was actually uttered during a movie. And I'm sitting there just staring at the screen in disbelief, wondering how that possibly could have sounded good to anyone during the table read. Like, really? No one spoke up and said, that doesn't make any sense. No one, really. This. No, no one thought that line was dumb. They decided, yes, that's, that's what we're going to go with. Like, okay, all right, fine, I get it. I see how it is. I see what kind of movie they're trying to make here. All right, fine. Let's just sit back and enjoy the ride. And if that wasn't enough, I think in that very same scene, there's a Rampage arcade cabinet in the background. And they're not even trying to hide it. I mean, they're almost focusing right on the thing. Like, here! Here's the Easter egg! It's right here! See it? See it? Did you see it? Did you see the Easter egg? This really fucking obvious Easter egg is right here! Yeah, yeah, we noticed. I'm not sure how a video game can exist in the movie upon which it's based, but okay. And the evil corporation's big plans do not make a whole lot of sense. Basically, they've built these big-ass rage monsters because reasons, but they do have a way to control them of sorts. They have created an antidote for the giant growth rage serum, but the antidote only calms down the rage part. It doesn't reduce them back down to a more manageable size. So, okay, once they get out of control and you need to rein them in, okay, you shoot them with this antidote and it makes them a bit more tranquilo, but uh, they're still the size of a house. So, what's the next step? And they've also designed some kind of mechanism to lure them to their big skyscraper in the middle of the city. And I guess their plan, once they get there, is to administer the antidote, but then what happens next? I mean, you just lured all these big-ass rage monsters through this crowded city, causing untold amounts of property damage and quite a few casualties as well. And given the fact that you're bringing them right to your corporate headquarters, that's probably going to tip off the authorities that you were responsible for this bullshit. And then, what, you inject them with the antidote and then they calm down a bit. Okay. Then what? Like, how do you plan to deal with them after that? You got a really big net? I mean, just, what? Did you think this through? I don't think you did. So yeah, this movie was stupid and dumb and ridiculous and dumb and dumb, but 
it, it does have its moments. It does have some genuinely funny moments. The Rock is giving everything he's got as he always does. I don't think he's capable of phoning it in. And honestly, his relationship with George was actually kind of charming. Naomi Harris had her moments. Jeffrey Dean Morgan was pretty cool. He was basically just playing a somewhat nicer version of his Negan character from The Walking Dead. And in fact, in my headcanon, this is Negan pre-apocalypse. And honestly, this is probably about as good as an adaptation of a 1980s arcade game was ever going to get. I got to see three big-ass rage monsters wreak havoc on a city, and honestly, I can't complain about that. It was a little disappointing that Lizzie doesn't bear really any resemblance to Godzilla, unlike the game, but I imagine that was changed for licensing reasons, so what can you do? I certainly would not call this a good movie, not at all, it's actually pretty bad, but I don't regret seeing it. I had fun. And if you want to have some big dumb fun as well, I could maybe see it being worth a matinee. And that's all I got to say about Rampage, so until next time, take care.